Today we're talking about the time America built a nuclear bazooka. Officially known as the Battle Group Atomic Delivery System, it would rapidly acquire the nickname, the Davy Crockett. You see, it all started in 1786 when he was born with three ears, a left ear, a right ear, and the wild frontier. Wait, this is the wrong Wikipedia page. Davy Crockett nuclear device, that's better. Okay, here's the deal. Once upon a time in the Cold War, the Soviet Union had way more tanks than America did. And America didn't want to have to build a bunch of their own tanks and ship them halfway across the world to Germany. So they needed a cheaper, more economical way to defeat enemy tanks. So they did the obvious thing and took their existing anti-tank weapon, the recoilless rifle, which is essentially a large bazooka, and figured out how to shoot a nuclear bomb out of it. That nuclear bomb was the M388 tactical nuke equipped with the W54 warhead. This is probably the smallest nuclear weapon of all time. To put it into perspective, on impact, this would deliver a blast yield of approximately 20 tons of TNT. That sounds like a lot, but when you're talking about nukes, comparing it to like, say, Atomic Annie, which was 15,000 tons, it's quite a bit smaller. Lucky for us, they recorded it again. Let's go ahead and see the tape. The round was launched at H minus 17 seconds to accomplish H hour impact on the desired ground zero at a range of 2,852 meters. The round was set for a low height of burst. It detonated perfectly, releasing its lethal radiation. Wasn't that the most adorable nuclear explosion you've ever seen? But it's still definitely enough to take out an enemy tank. So mission accomplished, the end. I wish. So if you watched last week's video about Atomic Annie, you know that the Soviet Union and America were basically in a giant pissing match to see who could come up with the scariest nuclear weapon. Honestly, it's still a better love story than Twilight, but it's terrifying. So let's just recap that real quick. 1949, the Soviet dropped their first atomic bomb, which means America had to one-up them. So America created Atomic Annie, the world's first nuclear artillery piece. And then one year after that, the Soviet Union made their own version known as the Condensator. So America was back to square one and we had to one-up them again. And while building a giant nuke Zooka is cool, it's not definitively cooler than atomic artillery. So how do you make it cooler? Well, it's the world's smallest nuclear weapon, so there's really only one thing to do with it. Drive yeah, they mounted it to a jeep. They literally made a shoot and scoot. A yeet and retreat, if you will. To be fair, they weren't actually supposed to shoot it while they were driving. They were supposed to, you know, pull over and aim, but we all know what's really gonna happen when you give three grunts a jeep and a nuclear bazooka. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you if you think two girls, one cup is bad, three grunts, one Jeep is way worse. Okay, all jokes aside, I need you guys to understand this is probably the closest humanity ever came to nuclear war. America gave three grunts complete discretion on when nuclear war started. I can't verify this for sure, but I'm almost positive this is why they gave it the nickname, the Davy Crockett. Because according to the legend, Davy Crockett the person killed his first bear when he was three years old. I killed my pet raccoon. Why, Davy? So I could have this cool hat. The Soviet Union's mascot is a bear. That is blatantly telling the Soviet Union to fuck around and find out. Oh, and we're not just talking about like one Jeep or a couple Jeeps. They made 2,100 of these fucking things. I am thoroughly convinced the only reason this didn't start nuclear war is because the maximum effective range on the launcher is actually shorter than the minimum safe distance of the detonation of the nuclear warhead. Meaning that if you were actually close enough to accurately aim, you were also probably going to die from the nuclear fallout. Luckily, military leadership would come to their senses and pull this monstrosity from the front lines before some group of grunts got brave enough to try to shoot it from behind and outrun the blast. Get off the nuclear warhead. Just wanted to feel the power between my legs, brother. It was then completely removed from service by 1971. And according to the now declassified documents, when the leadership of the 3rd Armored Division was asked by Congress why the Davy Crockett weapon system was decommissioned, he responded, and I quote, Since it was essentially a platoon weapon, command and control was a problem. Apparently there was some great fear that a sergeant would start a nuclear war. In conclusion, please do not get in a pissing contest with America. We will win or we will start the apocalypse trying. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's probably what would happen. Tune in next week. Who knows what we'll talk about? Maybe we'll talk about that time America wanted to nuke the moon because we were losing the space race. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out.